Hello and welcome to uh, week 4 round review. This map was made by Cool. It was a very good map, strafe map. Uh, before we start, we have a few things... Oh no, is Discord still dead? If Discord comes up, we have a few things to look out for that I've been told from Cool. So uh, the first thing we want to see is... Cool wouldn't be surprised to see players go wide in the first room, or the second room, for easiest to accelerate. Circle jump is probably the most important part, seems to be. Um, because you carry your speed for the whole rest of it. And also, you want to use the ramp in the second room, skip the water, and you'll uh, you'll get less... The more speed you get from the start, the less you're going to hit that. So, yeah. For the mid going to see both routes some people keeping the speed some people going slower um, then for the u-turn we're going to see bump either the back wall or the right hand wall apparently it's pretty much the same just depends I guess spacing it's going to be the key thing there this is uh, cool's view of when they made the map next it's the uh, the velocity pad and then it's through the pillars which was an unintended route we will see that straight away I'm fairly sure um, so I saw quite a lot of people, f you know, fairly far outside the top 20 doing that. And then the end, it's a straight run to the finish. It's going to make it look easy because no one's going to have failed it. But I know I did fail it multiple times because it actually did require quite some speed if you weren't massively paying attention. Yes, it is still supposed to just be that picture. It's fine. Right. Get into the game. First up, we have Static, uh, uh, African champion, with a 55.39. That one. Here we go. 55.39, not a bad time at all. Not a bad time at all. We are absolutely still doing Continental Champions because because cycling, to be honest. That's clean. I think I actually got a, a speed boost from that head bump there because that wall at the top slightly curved, I think. Looked a bit like a speed boost. Static does have absolutely terrible ping, but uh, plays pretty well. It's a pretty nice time. It's, yeah. It's a very standard route. Nothing fancy about the route. Well executed. Good amount of speed. Good strafing. Nose. No, like... That was trying to work out the. W so, that wasn't a run, just kind of ran for whatever's sake, you know. That was a. I know what route I'm doing. I'm going to execute it the best that I can. And that's like 99% of the people that are playing this, which is good. There were, yeah, there was a speed boost. That's cool. Um, 47. Point nine seven from Woodjaza. This is another one that's just kind of like these, are like the most people that you see. Oh yeah, we will con chat zero. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, that was nice. So. Getting an extra space in just to not eat any uh, any up ramp. Nice. Something I have been interested in uh, recently watching these demos. I haven't really talked about, but something that I have been watching. Whose runs? have major intermediate worsenesses in them 
I did, like that's my English is great today. Um, like you'll see, so that run completely improvements versus. Versus um, anything else, right? Now, of course, that's only for that half an hour run and whatever, but it still still comes down to something. Forty-seven point one nine from Des. Oh yeah, I should probably say so. Static was one hundred ninth overall. Woodjizza was fiftieth. Des forty-second. Des did his on his first run after the restart. So there is going to be no, no anything. Incredible. I want to see how this run compares to mine because I looked at my stats about my run and I had a terrible start. I had a 500 speed start. So what Cool said about get the best start you can, I did exactly the opposite of that. Des didn't. Des got a good start. But we should be able to see. No, it hasn't come up yet. <sighs> Nearly hit that. That was probably the cause of most of my deaths towards the end there. Was hitting that... Um, as you go through the window, the curve. And just getting pinged. Next up, we have... The first of our top 20, but this is technically 21st because there was a tie between Dead Fast and Nature. So we are going to... Oops. We are on Nature. Uh, I'm going to kick back over to a zero. So this is Dead Fast. I didn't know that there was this tie until someone mentioned it. Oh, going wide at the start. We're going to see going wide at the start. So, yeah, this was the other route. You could come wide, you will get more speed, but it's going to take you a bit longer. But, you know, you're coming around here with, compared to what Des was pulling, 100, 200 more speed. And you carry that all the way. Now, for me... I chose to not do that because I couldn't control the speed I was getting anyway. Interesting, not going for the corner cut at all there. Wait, there was a tie in 2020? Shit. <laughs> I will at some point fix that probably. You just told me, women, you knew we were going backwards the next week. Right, actual nature demo. Let's see what the difference is. So these two times, exactly the same. 45.48. How different are they? Have a drink as well while we wait for this one to load. I've noticed nature's times often end at, come like quite close to the end. This is going to be really close to the end. Yeah, 14. Mm, it is interesting because cool. I, I do want to see who goes where. So cool specifically said the narrow star over the water, over the ramp is faster. Now here was the difference. This is the bit where he said could be wide, could be narrow. I don't think we're going to see anyone going the upper route and coming out those stairs at the back there. Because that's just... Uh... There we go. There's the right wall bump. And through... And he makes the cut. There we go. Massive time save though. So he's been playing the entire route. 
Yeah, so wide carries you a lot more speed, especially with having the down ramps and stuff. And depending on your spacing, it could figure you out to not be eating ramp. Because if you go through that little window, you haven't got much you can do if your spacing lands you directly on top of that ramp. Next up, we got soup. It's going to be so good watching the, the fails before the start of each of these runs. Oh, I should put strafe percent on. Oh, my massive strafe bar didn't save. Oh. I've got the wrong hood on, that's why. <laughs> Professional streamer. There's been some technical difficulties for those of you who have joined later. Oh, that was nice. Not having to take a wall bonk at all. Got through there super clean. Really nice switch in mid-air. Realising that he wasn't quite probably going to make it into the actual finish box. Yeah, I was surprised about the second uh, second VP. I I completely wrote it off from right at the start. I was like, that looks really awkward. I completely wrote it off. But hey, if it works. Next up, we got Gibbs with a thirty-five. Ah, uh, you can't do huds in. Yeah, this, I mean, this map, really, you first look at it, and I'll, I'll admit, I said it. Oh, we're going wide. I think Gibbs is going to be, Gibbs probably is going to go wide, wide, wide. Des might get his wish for a wide, wide, wide. Most likely to, I think. Oh, that was nice, using the double jump to get the spacing. Ah, oh, but no, not going wide. Is going wide here, though. Okay. I did not think we'd see one of those. No wall No. Oh, that is incredible. No wall bonk. I mean, yeah, that upper route, I'm calling it wide because I measured the rough distance and it's further. Unless you take, unless you get that kind of like flick. For me, it was for, for a, a generic average, it was further. One second, I need to change my hood. This is. I am. Professional. Professional. Right, next up, we got Jay Height. There we go. Massive strafe bar now. Oh, yeah, and um, what was the hood underscore panel strafe hood strafe efficiency? That's it. Yeah, it's, this map's been really difficult to talk about different places on the map because it's super, like, 
I don't know, there's, it's not samey, but the way that you talk about each each position, you can say mid, you can say whatever, but it's like, this isn't League of Legends. <laughs> it's not like we've got lanes. And we just kept kind of talking about big ramp. I mean, I was trying to talk about the ramp in the first room, and people didn't know, is first room this room, or is first room the room after the one you spawn in? And, like, we can't work that out. We, uh... We need to work something out. Nice finish there, though, from Jay. Very nice. Next up, we got Zad. Zad, Riona, Dex. All in a line. All the same time. A three-way tie. So we had a tie for 20th place. We had a tie for 14th place. These all, th all three of these are 14th. And uh, there's another tie. I think ninth place. Yeah, tie for ninth place. So yeah. <laughs> but as we saw from Nature um, and Dead Fast, those two routes were completely different. They were not the same run. That was really... How did you not lose that much speed from that ramp? That was nice. Yeah. Oh, no. It was definitely always kind of going to be a tight map. It's... it's it, The thing that got me was the fact that there was so many route differences and yet it was still so tight. Second highest um, tightness ratio, I would say. I've the split between the top 50 in terms of percentage points of time. Uh, second highest ever after map 1 this year across the top 50. Yeah. The order we're going in here is uh, I'm not quite sure. It potentially could be alphabetical. What's the other one? The other tie is also alphabetical. What did Mario use? Average relative time. It was 0 0.002 off of round one. That's how close it was. Across the top 50 as well. So pretty huge. Okay, this it's tight this game. Oh wow. I honestly didn't expect to see anyone take that route, but I can see why it works. Okay. We're swinging the Okay, not the real pot hunter. Uh All right. Taking that wall. Hmm. I kind of feel like we might see that again. I want to see if Dex does that same... Yeah, let's give it a repeat. Just have a look at that that wall swing. Just in case we don't see it again. I have been tipped off that potentially in this map there are some things you can only do if your network settings are the correct settings. With high rate and stuff like that. It, it theoretically shouldn't affect things too much, but I do, th with how tight this map is, it's the time it's going to, you know. I think actually a fair amount of speed because they could just go like balls to the walls into it. Uh, I think we're coming in with 2,000, right? And then you're going short and then you come out with nearly 1,800. 
Most of the runs we've seen before this one were only coming out with 1800 because they were having to bonk the side walls. So you've got to choose, do you bonk the back wall, the side wall, or maybe just swing that corner? Dex, the reason I said I want to see, so I want, I want to see what Dex does. Dex is a VQ3 player. So he is incredibly likely to have seen that sort of, that sort of swing. Because he's the sort of player that has to use that sort of swing. He can't do turns like this in VQ3, you know? And this, this guy's a multiple-time Defrag World Cup champion in Quake 3 in VQ3 mode. With no air turning. So... If anyone's going to see that corner and go, oh, I can probably wing it round here. This is your man. But we'll see what he does now. Now he's winging, swinging wide. He's not going to use the corner. So yeah, he's going to tap, tap the back wall again. Yeah, coming out with um, only a little bit higher speed, but Riona was able to go in with so much speed extra because they didn't have to worry about taking the corner. You know, you can just full speed it into the corner. Once you've got your angle set up, you just like pin it into the corner. Hope for the best. Quite a big jump, considering we just have three-way tie. That's a big jump to a 45.06 from Mr. Vert. Okay, that's interesting. So that ramp is actually steeper, so you will get more speed off of that ramp. But it is a little bit longer. Slap, slap, slap. Okay, I was completely wrong about this side route. I, I will be honest, I, I was completely wrong. Vert is just... Oh, yeah, so that was slower than Riona. And went in slower than Rayona because he had to be careful. Not bad. What we got next? We got a 44.97. Just kicking it under Farius, under the 45. I think everybody's going to look at this and go, ah, oh, my route was bad. I mean, I looked at my stats and my route must have been quite good, but my average speed was slow. Because I was beating people with faster average speeds, but my route must have been quite short. Ooh, that was a nice, that was a nice turn. Why were you playing with V-Flip to one, Ferris? So this is how Ferris played this map. Just to confuse you all, if you ever have trouble doing a circle jump start because you're facing the wrong way, you can do V flipped one, which will uh, horizontally flip the display. And will mean that lefts are right and rights are left. You then have to remember that everybody's talking about the map backwards to you. So every time someone says, I, take a, I go left there, I take left root, uh, left root is now right root. Also, if you're ever bored of a map, you know. Yeah, you do get uh, CWDX. <laughs> so yeah, really, it's yeah. That was a very nice run, and taking 
taking a big chunk of time in the last last split. Very actually best split on CP6. That. It's going to be difficult to do the best CPs because everyone's taking such a different route. You know, you're going to gain, sp you're going to go wide first and then faster first. Circle jump would have given me one less. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. So you would have got a. Point nine. Next up we have Salah Kalastaja. We give it a go. We give it a go. Or Salah for sure. <laughs> so Vert said that he affects the uh, end turn on the on the PB. There is a bit of a, ooh, that was a bit of an eat there. There is a bit of a weird thing with like this route so far is the same route that I've taken. So other than the fact that he's going to cut this pillar, that's the same route that I took, which kind of makes it le not interesting to me. But there's probably people that are watching this and going, "Wow, that's really crazy route." A uh, really nice, uh, really nice run there from Salah. We got Shinks up next with a two-way tie with Fro. Fro. So let's take a look what uh, what options we've got. Actually, this is going to be a really interesting one to compare the split timings of. Oh no, I don't want to do that. So, comparing the split timings of Shinx and Fra. Shinx faster at the start, and Fra faster at the end, in general. Right, uh, okay, so you're now actually here. I've been told to pronounce your name in a French way. Despite noting that you're from Italy. <laughs> I'm British and therefore can pronounce absolutely nothing correctly without help. <laughs> this is Shink's run though. So just... Clean. Very clean. This looks like the, s the kind of default standard route to me. That's what most people have fallen back on. And then I think it's only mid where, like, um, like Cool said, mid you could go either way. Now, Freud or Fra? No idea anymore. Furious, do not look into the first time I commentated one of your games where I called you Frius. <laughs> For 10 minutes. Or realising. That was insanely tight because. So that, yeah, like I said, um, Freud getting behind at the start there. But then catching up at the end. And that was the same route from those two. A very nice 180. But something that is of note is that the people at the start, at the, in the top, in the 10th to 20th position. Or did they? I completely missed that. 
Okay, so middle is completely different. That's very interesting then. Because middle is where they've got the same times. Or very, very similar times. Like, there's not much dis discrepancy. In fact, they... Uh, 0 0.05... 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 down the middle. Then for the end, Freud a bit faster. Shinks at the start, a bit faster. Like a, a good chunk, a 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. So, the middle coming out exactly the same from those two. Next up, we have Kane. On a 44.75. That's a name I can pronounce. <laughs> Hopefully. There was a Dutch cycling team that when they did their um, like p picture photos that they all do uh, with the new kit at the start of the year, they all did, Hi, I ride for this team and my name is pronounced this. And, you know, went through their, their names for literally for English viewers. The number of times I've been watching a cycling race and the commentator pronounces the name really weird but it's actually correctly pronounced because the like weird from how it's spelled for an english person but the commentator on these races is belgian <laughs> she sounds english but she is, is one of those like brought up in belgium but has an english accent because media commentating you put on an english accent if you're able to but she's uh, lived in belgium since she was like 20 or something she knows all the pronunciations and stuff like that like people complain about her commentating it's hilarious it's like mate she actually knows she probably talked to the riders as well does interviews and stuff ADR up next Forty four point five two. Ooh, no, really nice there. So that's shorter route. We're coming, I think, 100 speed. Going wide at the start or around the back. Um, so the shorter route, 100 speed. Nicely up there. Going right at the middle. Upper route. This is going to be a wall swing. There we go. So a wall swing swinging you out with about a hundred speed less, maybe. But you go in with a hundred more, and then you can strafe harder out of it, I think, because you're quite because you come round the swing and then you're facing in the correct direction and you're not got to undo an AD strafe, so you don't have to wait that second, so you can get back on the gas quicker. So it seems. Seems I think that swing's going to be faster. Next up. 44.51 from Tora McQueen. That is a difference of... Duh, 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 where is it? That is a point 0.1. There's three point ones in a row. Just to show how little I was paying attention to any of these. I sent five via message saying... Oh my god, look. You've got Knight, Trauma Queen, ADR, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Um, and then slightly further down, there's three in a row exactly the same time. Because the next message was, I can't believe that there's no, t no ties yet. Oh, is this missing the start? Ferrius, what's the fix for the start? For missing the start? Oh, 
Oh. No. Oh yeah, no. Okay. How's the start this time? I'll just disable the magic seek if it doesn't have a start. That was probably the cleanest uh, U turn we've seen. Like non walled U turn. That was really nice from TQ. Next up we have Knight into the top five. This is where things get very spicy. Because going into this top five is where the real points fight is. Because of course if you're slightly if you're more places behind first, you lose more points than just pure time. So another really late run actually here. We've got uh seven one hour or yeah, three minutes to midnight, effectively. Beautiful start there. Absolutely zero speed lost, I think, on that up ramp. I'm loving these double jumps coming out of there and Knight taking that second. Nicely spaced. He's going for the wall. 100%. There it is. That was a really good wall. Didn't lose as much speed as we've seen most other people lose. Most other people losing 250 to 300, I think. Knight only lost 200 there. Ooh, that was so close to hitting that wall as well. Only lost 150. Super nice, super clean, super tight. 43 seconds up next. Ah, <laughs> I was wondering, how did Banano manage to get in there? But uh, yeah, that was last week's. That's all right. Yeah, wall, definitely. I mean, when we saw... When we saw... Um, Riona, that's it. When we saw Riona come in... Oh, this is Goblin. Did I pick the wrong time? It's Goblin, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, when we saw Riona going in, and I know, like, that was 2,000 speed going in. There's no way you're pulling 2,000 round there. The most we've seen people pull round is 1,800. And um, for the most part, it's been... Like, I think the, the key thing it, with the wall is... If you know you can only keep 1,800, you're probably going in with 1,800. Whereas if you're hitting that wall, it doesn't matter how hard you go in. Because the wall is going to take a more consistent amount of speed off of you in terms of raw numbers. Whereas uh, you're more likely to get percentage kind of taken off of you. So the faster you go, the more speed you're going to lose. Rather than the wall, which is just going to take... I mean, hell, the faster you go, the less speed it's probably going to take. But that was absolutely incredibly clean. Do have a little bit since we've just watched uh, Goblin's Demo. In fact, let's watch Goblin's Demo again while I pull up. There we go. So, I asked Goblin, uh, comment specifically about last week's map and anything generally about the whole of XDWC. As someone who's coming in really, really fighting Dizzy for this top space... Um, like the the scores are super super close. 
And so I just wanted to know, as someone who's basically come into Xenotic purely for XDWC, not a single bad comment about the map so far. Good shit. Um, and yeah, they're going to be... They're happy with the game. Just, you know, glowing review. That's, <laughs> that's basically what I uh, went over to look for. So yeah. Goblin happy with XGWC. Happy with how it's going. But... <laughs> If I were doing too much media, I'd be saying holding the cards close to their chest because uh, the, not a lot of not a lot of anything said. But nah, great player, really great player. I've, I've said it every week. I'm so glad for having these Q3 guys over. For one, showing how good Dizzy is, just straight out, and for two, pushing the pushing the maps. When you've got more people, you're going to push. You're going to have to push. Dizzy's going to have to push. So we've pushed Dizzy. We've pushed these guys as well. It's good. It's really good. Next up, we've got Delta. For anyone who wants to see the top three trolling, uh, the stats paid, download the, uh, the original file of the stats. <laughs> I'm not going to show it because... There's some tr there's some name trolling going on. There's <sighs> this might be interesting. That is ridiculous speed. Yeah, it, that's that's like a preview you get on YouTube videos where they show you the really cool thing that's coming up. So that ridiculous speed, but not going wide at the start, not getting a down ramp. You what? Oh my god! <laughs> so that time I I messed up and did that by mistake because I wasn't really paying attention. Turns out I was right. We go again. We go again. We're going slow mo this time. I just gotta check I've got my slow mo's once we get in. Yeah, we're gonna look at that again in slow mo. Because that's, I mean, honestly, yes, we got speed. Yeah. So that's a really good start. The, the other thing with this run, it's not just, it's not like this is really fast for what it is. This is all really fast. And that explains why he went the short route. Because it doesn't matter what speed you've got. Because you're about to come in here and do this. Let's go half speed. So stops completely. It's actually a lot faster watching it the second time. But basically circle jumping head, head run there. So that was like a... Yeah. And was that a double jump? Off of that uh, corner ramp. Because it looked so much like he just didn't lose any speed. It looks, yeah, looks like a double jump rather than a, a circle. I did think, I did see that and think, oh, maybe it's doable. But, nah. He got on his run before that, so it's, it's properly consistent. That's pretty good. That might be, so the other message I got from Goblin was there's a few tricks you can only do if you've got the right settings on your game the right net rate settings and that might be one of them now there's an interesting thing because source is an absolutely incredible strafer Drafe delta is a really really good strafer but source i i feel is just that little bit next level like is that little step up in terms of pure raw strafe so if there is a chance that he 
straight just strafe harder. In fact, I've got the strafe stats, haven't I? Strafe percent. So it's about three percent in it on a very rough thing of uh, source versus delta. That looked almost that looked like he was going for the double jump, but didn't quite get it. But still got a very very clean set there. But that's enormous. It didn't. How much speed did he lose through that that wall turn? He just didn't seem to lose any. It took me a second to even realise that happened. Go again on that. Let's go again. So this is your second place, by the way. Just just to let you know. Should probably put place names. That's the something I should do. Should put place names on the uh, on the numbers. Net FPS and also rate. Dizzy has to do this. Dizzy has uh, 0.34 on this time. This is 0.34 seconds faster. So you got to think. This is doing all of it. So yeah, no down ramp. Goes for the flick. Not quite as fast. Ah, oh, that's yeah. That's not a double jump. Didn't quite manage to get the double jump. Nicely down straight through there. Beautiful there. Yeah, he's not really losing much speed through there. Now this is the bit where we see because there. So for what Knight has just said about Dizzy doing the ob the um, the honourable route, I will tell you from the exact stats that I have here. Dizzy had a lower top speed than uh, Source and Delta. Had a higher start speed. Had a higher average speed. So. Hey, there's me. Uh, let's have a look what we've got. A 43.45. An incredible time on this. Overlay. Sorry. Look at that strafe. Incredible start speed as well, which is, you know, we were already at the point where start speed was fast enough to get you whichever route you want with super clean uh, spacing. Dizzy getting the stack. He's done the honourable route there. Dizzy has just... He's lost so much speed on that up ramp as well. The spacing just didn't work out to get a double jump. He was basically half a jump faster. Not much speed lost here. Just absolutely incredible strafing. That looks that's a lot tighter than everyone else was going. That is a yeah. He went a lot tighter and I th Yeah, Dizzy is really good at getting speed gain in ADs. But also, if you just look, he's so close to the edge of the of the strafe bar that sometimes, when, before, when I've had the strafe bar on that smaller setting, it looks like he's flicking on and off of it. The crouch is, I think, just a holdover from him playing... Um, playing... Uh, yes, yeah, so that was really nice, getting speed boost there. Uh, Crouch being a holdover from CTF. That's the one, I think. But he always crouches. It was like the first week. He said you should crouch to not hit the ceiling so fast. Gives you better spacing after the after the zigzag. Crouched up. But, yeah. Just incredible. Let's watch uh, Source again. See where that went. 
Yes, yeah, so the strafe percentage of Source and Delta, about 5% less than Dizzy. And then it goes up again when you get to Knight's Run uh, and Goblin. Oh no, Knight's slightly, slightly lower. Oh no, actually, let's go back to Knight's Run after this one. Ah, oh, clean. That's super, that double jump on the ramp, that's super nice. You could see Dizzy wanted to do it, but I think he was literally going too fast to be able to do the double jump because his spacing just didn't work out. He was jumping much too far to be able to hit it, but he's able to, Dizzy was able to take a much closer corner on that very last corner before the velocity pad and then just flying into the finish. Dizzy was able to absolutely crack that corner. I want to flick back over to Knights because he's got a really high strafe percent. High strafe percent, good average speed, good everything. Yeah, Source definitely had the fastest wall hug turn. He just lost no speed there. Dizzy lost a fair bit, but he also went in with a lot more. And I think the it, it's that f initial angle, isn't it? It's that initial angle when you hit the wall. That's what kind of loses you the sp or sets you up to lose the speed. If you can come into it and glide yourself in, rather than, you know, if you imagine kicking a ball into that corner, or an ice hockey puck, something like that. That was super nice there, Knight. Getting through there. This was good, I remember. Yeah, this that, that was one of the better... Uh, 180 walls, didn't lose too much speed there. And same same really clean corner as Dizzy took as well. Delta and Source weren't able to get that corner that clear. That, that clean. Yes, Dizzy going back to strafe really quickly. Like, let's hit some, uh, hit some slow-mo points on Dizzy's run. Dizzy, that's, so the, the two things for Dizzy's strafe, like the reason that he, in a straight line, gains more speed than other people, is his strafe percent is just incredible. His ADs are, I suppose not a straight line then, but his ADs are really good. And look how clean he is when he comes off of the ADs, back into strafing. Most other people almost take a breather. You almost take a breath in and like... <gasps> And then get back. There's no difference to Dizzy. He is... I mean, watch his keyboard after he comes off of an AD. So... Yeah, he doesn't let go of the AD direction, I don't think. He just... You know, other than that corner, obviously. He just puts... Presses his button on full. Oh, he does. Just a split second, but a lot quicker than anyone else. A lot quicker than anyone else. It's almost instant, to the point where you can... You know, uh, not with with the sort of input delay and whatever on the screen, it's not entirely visible. But that's just super clean, super nice. I don't even know. Actually, this is a random watch it again. But I don't know if Dizzy taking the super speed cut would have made a difference. I don't know if it would have been faster. Because what speed did he exit that that velocity pad with anyway? Like he's 1300 in. No one was 1300 through there. He's coming round here. 1800. So Delta got the better rip off of that one. And Delta got... Uh... And Delta got 1,200. 
Source got a slightly worse one and got 1900 um, to change. And Dizzy's getting 1800 through there. So he didn't have to slow down. He would have been able to DJ the ramp though, yeah, the spacing. Because I suppose it's a spacing reset, isn't it? You're completely stopping and you're starting from the, the same point. Let's watch Goblin's run because we've watched the whole top five again except for Goblin. We've just skipped the man completely. That's also true. Dizzy's day one time was better than Knight's finished time. Like, Dizzy just picks up maps and goes, I got it. <laughs> it is incredible. Quickly get a message here, actually. Yeah, fair point if he's online. Hmm. That was super nice. Going the really wide and then just straight lining it to the corner. That was really nice from Goblin. TQ's route. Yeah. So, what's that? Sorry for the overlay being wrong, by the way. Yeah, Goblin definitely getting the back to strafe. Do you think you've got better at strafe maps since this uh, tournament started, Goblin? I don't know if I'm misremembering it or anything, but it, you, like the way that your strafing looks just looks super clean compared to week one. Mm, so no real super standard routes there. Everyone going either top or wide start. TQ fastest non non corner swinger though I think. Yeah, didn't get the didn't get the speed boost from the drop was unfortunate. Would have probably I mean, you got to think. Point one off of night. That's probably it for first. We're going to get cool in. She just said, a cut where? <laughs> Which is the best one? Do we think we go with Deltas? Because he got the better speed out of it. Lost some speed in the wide turn. Yeah. I was getting close to needing to adjust my spacing before that. That it wasn't. It was, there's definitely some adjusting spacing 
that could go on. Oh wait, hold on. Let's take a look at the, uh... Ah, oh, screw it, yeah, let's watch my run. What did I get? 46.8. This is my run. This is what I've been referring to the entire time as standard, because it's all I've got in my head. I got this 46.97 and did nothing. I just went and chilled. My legs were wobbling. Everything was going because I knew it was the run. Look at that. 505. It was a 501 according to the uh, reel. That start speed was dog shit. But I got the ramp really nicely. Didn't lose any speed off the ramp particularly. Like for me. Nice speed round here. No boost down there which I was surprised that PB'd when I did that. But I got... Um, I ate that a lot harder than I thought I did. Wow. That was the cleanest I ever got that turn. And then just power it into the finish. Hope for the best. And I was very, very happy with that run. Very, very happy with that run for that week. Anyone want to see their run? <laughs> you tell me your time, I've got them all. Okay, cut. We'll, we'll go for the cut. If you can uh, see this, hopefully, cool. Delta's run, we believe. So Delta and Source in the top 20 both did this. No one outside the top 20 is going to have done it. Or not. So cut might have been the wrong word. A. Yeah, VP boost. A. Non-intended route. For sure. A non-intended route. So, I mean, that's quite a lot of speed there. So far, so normal. Very nice strafing. Very good. Oh, that was... I didn't notice that. To watch it there. That was really nice up the uh, jump pad. Stop there, fling there. So, yeah. Two and three. Dizzy didn't do it. Dizzy just strafed that hard. Good run, though. Good run other than there. Uh, well, cool run when you hit that. Yeah. <laughs> you say Dizzy beat race cars with a bicycle, but uh, it's actually... That was done on an actual bike. A uh, rally car versus downhill mountain biker. Because they basically said, downhill mountain biker... Go cut down the like laurels and the trees. Straight, make yourself a straight line down the hill. I think I just beelined it. It. So uh, this is Dizzy's room, by the way. 
It seemed to save a lot of time. Delta slowed down a lot more. Source was literally stopped straight into it. Source was probably less than half a second. Delta was about half a second. And yeah, Dizzy with an absolutely insane start speed. You've also got to think, 1750 is Dizzy. <laughs> this run is so clean. If it was an ass, I would eat it. Beat on 2023. <laughs> It's just so clean. It's just absolutely ridiculously clean. But with that, I want to take a look at the scores on the doors. This one. The overall scores. Now, one, two, three. Don't hide four. Hide that. Right. Hide that. So the total scores, there are two points separating Dizzy and Goblin at the top of the leaderboard in the overall as we go into the final week. The final week is a com weapon combo map with... Um, Shooting with rockets that you just, you know, regular rockets, just propelling yourself with. Double stack right at the start. Techie strafe movement as well. There's some sections that are seriously like, you can gain time because of strafe here. Because you'll be able to set yourself up better for the next section. There is rockets that you shoot into walls so that you hit a target. So that you get a speed, uh, so that you get a knockback effect later on and it's more powerful and different routes there's pretty much one route but i'm sure we'll see something coming out of it uh with you know crazy different variations on exact sections super super duper yeah super super close I mean, you've got to think. I did say last week that Delta Knight sourced this kind of this kind of position. They were in it, but now the jump is too high to get to Goblin and Dizzy. Obviously, Delta and Source did catch up a little bit, but it's a chunk, and they're just two points in it. Just two points in it after that round. But yeah, D Goblin was. Goblin would have still been ahead if Delta and Source hadn't beat him. If Goblin had have come second. But that's how it goes. You're out of top three. Yeah, probably. <laughs> to be fair, this, this map looks like it's going to be another one with a lot of big, big points gaps. Like map three was. Map three had a lot of big points gaps. Yeah, the difference between these... Because I think the thing is, these guys are the guys that have come top three. These are top threeers. It's only really been these three coming top three week in, week out. And, yeah, so... Cool, wanting to thank everybody who's played the map. Hopefully everybody had a good time, with or without the hacks routes. Which, yeah... Definitely hope everybody's had an incredible time. It was an incredible map. Really, really nice. I definitely I went into it day one, looked at it and went, this looks like a cool map that I'd play on regular servers. And then throughout the week, it was like, this is very different in subtle and incredibly cool ways that make it a super, realistically a unique XCWC map. Something that's so close to what we're all familiar with, but so different in other ways. So yeah, we're leaving for this this week. Going into next week. We're a super close fight. We've got some fights coming all the way down. There's fights everywhere, you know. Just scroll to a random point and you're going to find one point in between a couple of people. It's, uh... Yeah. 
There's there's fights all around. So hopefully everyone has a good week. Hopefully everyone's able to get the last little bit, remember? There is no week six, so you might as well lay it all on the line this week. Thank you very much for watching this recap. Enjoy your next week. And I will see you next week for round five and for the final overview and to crown our champion. Goblin or Dizzy? Who knows? Oh, I'll show you this before we go. Uh, this is going to look a bit weird because I haven't got it downloaded. Goblin versus Dizzy. Made by Mirio. Super cool. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.